Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on cumulative frequency. Uh, so cumulative frequency uh, is a way of just tallying up uh, the frequency so far, if you like, in uh, grouped frequency tables. Uh, so let's just start by looking at this example. Uh, so we've got a frequency table here uh, with data compiled on a group of college students' heights. Uh, so we have to plot a cumulative frequency graph from the data. The way we're going to do that uh, is first of all tally up the cumulative frequency uh, for each of these uh, height intervals. So uh, for the first one here, uh, we have a frequency of 13, and just because it's the first class, the cumulative frequency, uh, which is a measure of the frequency so far, um, is just 13. And then for the next one, um, we have 33 for the next frequency. So the frequency so far is going to be 33 plus 13. Uh, and that's going to give us a value of 46. And then for the next bit, we're going to add this 46 to 35, 46 plus 35, uh, and that's going to give us 81. And then for the last one, it's 81 plus 11, and that comes to a total of 92. So we have some cumulative frequency values here now, uh, and we can plot a graph with this data. And where we're going to plot the graph is at the end of each class interval. Um, so this basically means that up to a height of 160 centimetres, uh, the total frequency is 13, uh, 13 students that is. So this is going to be our first point. We go to 160, and then we go up to 13. Simple enough. And then for the next one, uh, we go to 170, and then up to 46. So 46 is about here. And for the next one, go to 180, and then up to 81. So about there. And then for the last one, 190, and then up to a height of 92. So there we go. So with the cumulative frequency graph, the last thing to do is just to plot all of these points, or plot a line through all of these points, uh, which should just be a smooth S-shaped curve, like so. So pretty good. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so moving on to this next part, uh, we have to use our cumulative frequency graph from the previous question. So I've just copied it in here. Uh, and we have to calculate the median and the interquartile range. So if we just flick back to the previous example, uh, so the uh, the last value for the cumulative frequency was 92. So that means our total number of values is 92, we'll call it n. So to get the median, we're going to take the halfway point. So the median is the 46th value. So if we go to 46 on the cumulative frequency axis, that's about here, draw a straight line across until we meet the curve, and then a straight line down should be about 170. So the median will say is 170. Okay, and then for the uh, interquartile range, which is sometimes called the IQR for short, we need the values that are a quarter of a way into the data set and three quarters of the way into the data set. So that's going to be n over 4. So 92 divided by 4 is 23. And uh, 3n over 4, uh, which is going to be 3 times this value of 23, which is 69. So we're looking for the 23rd, uh, going to 23 on the cumulative frequency axis, that is. So that's about here. So if we go across and then down, that comes out at about 164. So that's the 23rd value. Uh, so that was 164. These are in centimetres here. And then for the 69th uh, value, we go up to a value of 69. Draw a straight line across. And then a straight line down. Okay. Uh, so your lines should be a bit straighter than those ones. Uh, but that gives us a value of about 174 centimetres. So these are our upper quartiles and our lower quartiles. Sorry, this is the lower quartile here. The upper quartile is the second one here. So to get the interquartile range, uh, what we do is we subtract the lower quartile from the upper quartile. So we'll write that over here. The interquartile range equals upper quartile minus lower quartile. And that's going to be 174 minus 164, which is obviously 10 centimeters. So our median is 170 centimetres and our interquartile range is 10 centimetres.
Just one final point to note with this sort of thing is that the exact values you get for the median, the lower quartile and the upper quartile might be slightly different to mine. And that all just depends on how you plot your cumulative frequency graph. Uh, so if your curve is slightly different to mine, then your values may come out slightly different to mine. Um, there's usually a sort of ballpark figure that the mark schemes require. So as long as you're within, say, a couple of centimetres of each of these values, uh, you should get all the marks. So it shouldn't make much difference.